Hey folks and welcome back to the Don's channel. I am the Don Father and this is Hashtag AFL Table Talk. It's the second time I've done an, uh, an AFL Table Talk on my channel. Um, I wasn't going to make it a hashtag but hey ho, it is a hashtag now. Uh, today's topic is about the developing stories on opinions being aired based on the fact that the MCG is the chosen sporting ground for the AFL Grand Final every year um, and this I wouldn't say it's a divided opinion it's just there's several people now coming out and talking about the injustices of the fact that it's played at the MCG and it will be continued to be played at the MCG for the next 40 years. Here's what Chris Scott had to say we are a national competition now. Having the grand final locked to the MCG for the next 40 years is a travesty. Now that's quite strong words to say it's a travesty. Um, I don't personally see it that way, but we'll get to my opinion at the very, very end. So that's what he thinks anyway. Patrick Dangerfield kind of uh, backs this up by being quoted and saying... Um, it's not fair as an interstate club that you finish top of the ladder and then you're playing at the MCG. Do you agree? That was from SEM 1116, the radio network. Um, so that was his take on it. Of course, he's playing for Geelong, who aren't a Victoria team, um, and they don't see it. He obviously clearly doesn't see it that way. They're currently leading the AFL ladder. They're doing really, really well this year. and. He obviously is of the opinion that if they win it and then they have to go and play and the the finally to go out and try and win the grand final, it'll be at the MCG and he obviously must see this as a disadvantage to an interstate club and possibly an advantage to um, Victoria teams. So, that being said, somebody else, and I'll read this here, this is on this was taken on seven sports um, comment from Chris Scott they put up. I went into the comment section and found this. Um, this is from Craig Abbey. Since West Coast was the first interstate team to make a grand final in 1991, there have been 17 occasions it has been an interstate versus Victoria grand final. Um, interstate teams have won, no, sorry, have had nine wins and eight losses against Victoria clubs. And that time, so barely a 50% ratio. Um, he's also said, further to that, seven of those eight losses, the Interstate team finished higher than their Victoria opponents. This does all mean nothing, though, because the contract has been signed for 40 years. Just depends what a contract is worth these days, I guess. Maybe in a distant future, the AFL seek an equality-based on position and if required to, a Victoria team can go to interstate and win it if they're good enough. So saying for example the West Coast Eagles, they win it and they want to host the grand final etc and Victoria teams have to go there and play and see how good they are in the knockout stages um, and it's being held say in Perth or Sydney, or anywhere outside of Victoria, outside of the MCG. So that's his take on it. That was Craig Abbey. Thanks uh, for that. Um, here's one from... I've got a few here. I'll just quickly go through them now. This is from Mark White. It has always been there and should always be there. The hallowed grounds of the mighty MCG. It's called tradition, something that should be held with the highest regard and honour. Now... I, I really respect this opinion. I believe that this has substance and I, I have to admit I would think exactly the same way as Mark White here. So on uh, Ben Ladd, if there was another stadium in Australia with, uh, I can barely say this word, elliptical oval field dimensions of 180 metres long by 140 metres to 150 metres wide between the fence barriers with a capacity of over 100,000 or more fans then I would not mind the AFL Grand Final being played interstate. I grew up and played Aussie Rules as a kid in Sydney, so I don't have a Vic bias on this topic. But until such a stadium is built, leave it at the MCG. And this is kind of backed up by Luke Duffield, who said just below it, well, to be honest, if stadiums were bigger, it would be held elsewhere. 
We all know the AFL want to make as much money as possible. Um, so that's his take on it. <laughs> that's Luke Duffield. So that's all the, the little comments. I'm putting them up there on the video. That just there's loads of stuff, but the, the overwhelming majority of comments on every social media platform that I've read, whether it was SEN's one that they've put up on one six radio station, has put up, or it's Seven Sport or whoever, Fox, if they're putting this up, uh, the overwhelming opinion favours keeping it at the MCG, um, which is pretty much the home of footy, let's be honest here. Um, it does host, hold sorry, about 100,000. You could probably cram more in, but it's around about 100,000. There's no other arena, to my knowledge, that can hold that sort of figures and numbers uh, within uh, Aussie rules. Or in Australia, I don't think there's another sporting arena in Australia that can actually hold as many people as that. Um, but all that being said, yes, so for Patrick Dangerfield saying, if Geelong win it, should it be held at their um, home home ground. Well, I'm not too sure what Geelong's ground holds. I think it's somewhere in the region of 45 to 50,000. So you're going to have the ticket allocation for fans who are desperate to get to a grand final. So usually there's 100,000, but to suit Geelong winning it, they would hold it at Geelong, the grand final, to give them some sort of fair level playing field. I don't actually see it that way. Um, I think that's, that's wrong. I, I, I can, I can empathise with people from Perth travelling all the way to Melbourne for the grand final. They've got uh, an awful long journey to make on the western uh, coast of Australia. Very big journey. Maybe they should look into building a big enough stadium there and it could be rotated. But again, I'm not keen on that idea. I think coming from some day through has been a lot of uh, cup finals within Scotland. Um, there was something about Cup Final Day, Grand Final obviously to you guys, but there was something about Cup Final Day that um, just got you excited. In the morning, you were up really early, champagne breakfast, a fry up in the morning, beer and champagne, ready for the party, because you had a good chance of winning the final that day, and it was just a celebration. Your team left in the trophy, and it all ran hand in hand with going to the National Stadium, which was Hamden in Glasgow. Um, I think... If it had been given the option for the final to be played at the home ground, you would probably say, well, we're used to playing on that. That would probably help us win the final because we're used to playing on this pitch. However, I still wouldn't want it to be played at my home ground because the fans want a, a cup final day. They want a, they want a grand final day. They want the travel. They're, if your team is competing to that stage, you can guarantee your fans already planning, if we get there, I'm taking this time off my work. Um, getting money sorted, put together just in case the team makes the grand final. It's all part of the buzz and the excitement of it. There was another comment that was said that only 60,000 tickets go to the supporters, the other 40,000 go to sponsors, etc. Big wigs from outside, like TV crews, media, etc. I'll all get all the other 40,000, so it's only 60,000 tickets actually going to real supporters anyway. Now, I don't know if this figure is factual or just made up, um, however, that is the case with a lot of sporting grounds where there's a lot of tickets will go to the sponsors. If it's 40,000, that's a huge number. I wouldn't have liked to think it would be that much. But getting back to the previous point, traditionally, it's been in that stadium, the MCG. Melbourne was the home of footy as a city, so there's another thing. Um, it's the biggest sporting arena. Everybody looks forward to it every year. It has become a tradition. That's just it. It's become a tradition. And as a supporter, if your your footy club's good enough to get to that final, it's part and parcel of the journey going to the MCG. You do not want to change it, guys. Honestly, you have to keep it at that stadium. Um, that is pretty much, somebody calls it the mecca. It's the, the home of footy. That is just it. It's got to stay at the MCG for me. In my opinion, I appreciate other people would disagree. And what does a stupid Scotsman know about footy? Shut up anyway, mate. But it's just... It is, it's an old sport. And clubs do take pride in their past. 
and so should the sport as a whole. I can't comment on the AFL stance with the terms of just trying to make as much money as possible out of the supporters, hold it at the MCG, get 100,000 tickets sold, etc. Blah, blah, blah. So they're making maximum money. But with the biggest sport in the arena, it also gets more of a global appeal as well. Um, as I say, more sponsors, more TV crews maybe getting involved with being in the bigger um, ground, and maybe getting publicised to a greater audience uh, globally as well. So I just think that it, it, it's, a, it's a nonsense really to be debating this. Uh, to call it a travesty that it's been locked in for 40 years is ridiculous. In my opinion, he's entitled to his opinion, of course, as am I, but I do think it's a ridiculous statement to make, saying it's a travesty. It's not a travesty. I don't believe anybody's got an advantage for playing their game there. If you can't get up for a final, then you're not, you shouldn't be playing the sport. You know, that's just what it is. It's, it's one game of footy is the difference between your team winning and losing a trophy. You give it your heart, you give it your all. You put everything into bringing that trophy back to your town. If you're Geelong, back to Geelong. Street parties everywhere. Welcoming the heroes back. If you're from West Coast, the, the West Coast Eagles fans, taking it back out west. And all the fans going mad. Having a party with your fans. Your, your homecoming heroes, if you like. Um, and that's the way it's got to stay. It's as simple as that. Um, the talks of it either being in Sydney or wherever. I, I, again, I, I don't... There's no other sporting venue that it should be. If you were talking about the English Premier League, the teams there, they don't fight over, oh well Manchester United or Manchester City's won the league, let's host the FA Cup final at their home stadiums or Chelsea's or Arsenal. No, it gets held at the National Stadium. It's traditionally there, it should never be changed, it never will be changed. And the National Stadium, which is arguably the best, one of the best um, football stadiums in the world, or soccer, if you prefer, stadiums in the world, Wembley Stadium, it just has to be there, it's iconic to the tournament and that's what the MCG is to footy. As a new supporter of the sport, I can appreciate people going, shut up jock, you know nothing, but as I say, as an outsider, maybe it just gives it that little bit of an edge saying like, well, you can relate to other tournaments across the world where this isn't even suggested to move it, you know, so it should never be moved. Keep it real guys, keep it MCG, that's my take on it anyway, thanks very much for watching. And um, don't forget to subscribe and put the notification bell on as well so you don't miss any of our future uploads. This was hashtag AFL Table Talk. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and also I'll put links to my social media platforms in the description section below and also links to my Patreon. And you can sponsor my mullet. I'll only grow a mullet if you sponsor it, guys. So thanks very much for watching. I greatly appreciate all the support I've been getting for my AFL chats, reactions, etc. I really do, really do appreciate it. Thanks again. See you soon.